hello friends uh, last class i discussed about the some applications of led uh, some applications of uh, IO, arduino in iot like led blinking led control uh, blinking led uh, this thing and the ir detector this thing i have discussed in the last few lectures okay uh, so um, now uh, so i will discuss one of the case study that is the how you can control the room temperature using the arduino which can be used for the iot applications automatic control room temperature okay so some uh, thing i have is some brief idea i have discussed on, uh, already the last lectures if, if you have seen my last lecture okay so <coughs> so how can you control the room temperature automatically by using the arduino which can be one of the applications for the it okay so here you can see uh, this is the tinkercad diagram i have uh, shown here so uh, the arduino so you can see the output LED light here, the input temperature sensor and the output motor. Okay, so this is a, uh, uh, so uh, this is a temperature sensor <coughs> that has two uh, three terminals. So one you can connect to the anode, another is the, so in the breadboard you can see that I will explain in the circuit diagram. Okay, this idea I want to discuss. So this is a temperature sensor, there are the three terminals. So, two terminals are connected to the ground and the um, voltage power supply, positive power supply. And the middle terminal is the out output terminal of the temperature. Whatever temperature is detected from the environment, this temperature data will be transferred into the Arduino. Okay. So, if the temperature is suppose uh, uh, 34 degree or uh, 30 degree, then uh, the Arduino will automatically uh, <coughs> give the warning signal the temperature should uh, the motor should the uh, fan should be turned on okay so uh the automatically the warning signal will be sent by the led and in the parallel at the same time the output uh, the fan fan will be here the motor will be acted as a dc motor will be acted as a fan okay so this will be turned on okay at the same time the warning signal will be sent by the arduino so that we have to turn on the ac so no not required to uh, turn on the ac manually okay oh, sorry turn on the fan or ac manually you can automatically uh, the arduino can automatically the iot system can automatically uh, turn on the motor <coughs> once the temperature is uh, to the certain level okay so these two are the output uh, function and this is the input so normally the arduino uh, you can send some input signal you can manipulate the input signal and accordingly you can give the output signal based on the application. Okay, so that means so for, what is the modification if the temperature is more than certain limit. Then the out, output will be modified in the form of the LED light and the actuator like a uh, motor. Okay, so <coughs> let's come to the uh, code, Arduino code. So the same diagram I have placed here. Uh, so, uh, the, this is the output, LED will be turned on or tap or, or turn off, if temperature is less, the LED will be turned off and if temperature is more, the LED will be turned on. Okay, so this LED will be acted as a digital LED. Okay, uh, so one only the two signals, logic 1 and logic 2. The but motor, it will be give a con continuously, the, uh, the motor will be turned on if the temperature is more. So, we have to send the <coughs> analog signal through the uh, uh, motor okay so motor should be turned off or motor should be turned on so okay so no not analog signal digital signal okay. either it should be turned off or it should be turned on if i'm sending the logic side automatically the motor will be turned on okay uh, <coughs> this is the concept but the temperature data continuously i'm taking the temperature data temperature data that is mainly in the analog in form temperature data i'm repeating again temperature data that is mainly in the analog in form so, so we are collecting the analog data, but we are sending the digital data in, through the LED and the output motor. <coughs> so, LED we can connect in the one digital terminal, motor also we can connect to the digital terminal, but the temperature is that will be connected to the analog terminal. There are the analog pins in the Arduino I have already discussed in the previous lectures. Okay, so the anode, suppose I have connected the LED, uh, so temperature sensor in the anode pin of the Arduino, which can be stored in the sensor pin as a variable. And the motor pin is 8, that is a digital pin, that is stored in the another variable motor pin. 
the pin number seven that is also digital pin here that led is connected with the digital pin that also stored in the led variable now i am uh, storing i am declaring one the temperature so <coughs> temperature uh, data will be collected from the temperature sensor in analog form <coughs> that data that should be uh, stored in a one variable for future purpose okay so for that the I am declaring one variable that is temperature and that is the data type is the float because the temperature may be in the 30.1, 30.2, 30.3 like this. So this that's why that variable declaration variable type is the float type. Okay. Uh, now <coughs> the, the uh, setup function I have to declare the something, the mode of the output port. The LED and the motor that will be output pin but sensor will be the input pin because I am collecting data from the sensor. So here I am not mentioning the motor as the output, but it, it is up to you. You can also mention motor as the output. Okay. <coughs> pin mode, uh, motor pin, comma output. Like this you have to write. Okay. So under the void loop function, you have to write the uh, main uh, main set of the code. Okay. So first, what it will be done by the Arduino? So it will. The temperature sensor, the Arduino will be collected data from the temperature sensor. So if you want to collect data from the external device, so then we have to use the read uh, function. Okay. Digital read or analog read. Because the temperature data is in the analog in form, that's why you have to use the analog read function. Okay. So analog read within bracket, the pin number you have to mention where the temperature is collected. The sensor pin, right? This is the sensor pin. So we mentioned analog read. Automatically, the temperature that will be collected and it will be stored in the uh, sensor below. So there are some calculation for collecting, uh, converting the uh, data into the temperature or voltage. Okay. Uh, so whatever data I am collecting, so this data is uh, in the normally analog reading, zero to one, zero to three. Okay. The temperature data will give the such kind of the data, not in the temperature suppose to twenty degree. The 30 degree like this. The temperature data will give this uh, value analog reading from 0 to 1 to 3. <coughs> Normally in the Arduino I should get the voltage value something in the Arduino. There is no concept of the uh, concept of the analog reading 0 to 1 0 to 3. Okay so the uh, there is a formula which can be converted from the analog reading to the voltage. Okay so that also voltage we can give in the uh, float type. Okay, the float voltage is equal to sensor below into 5 divided by 1, 0, 2, 3. This is a formula. Okay, <coughs> you will have the range of analog reading from 0 to 1, 0, 2, 3. Okay, uh, and uh, maximum 5 volt normally in the digital nature, the maximum we can give the 0 volt or the minimum we can give the 0 volt, maximum we can give the 5 volt. That's why if you want to convert the voltage, this analog reading into voltage, that will be like the sensor below into 5 divided by 1, 0, 2, 3. Because you are giving the analog reading from 0 to 1, 0, 2, 3, maximum 5 volt you can give. Okay, so the voltage, whatever reading we are getting, that reading can be converted into the voltage. If you multiply this, that reading into the 5 by 5 and by divided by 1, 0, uh, 2, 3. Okay. <coughs> so, I, after all doing operation of this thing, so the system will... Uh, uh, sust uh, remain uh, sustained for some time okay so that's uh, the delay to 2002 2, millisecond okay so uh, the temperature is equal to then uh, so if you want to put some condition if you want to display temperature value in the serial monitor i have to convert the reading in the analog reading into the temperature value because we are not collecting directly the temperature data we have to convert the analog reading into the temperature value once you get the voltage value so if we multiply the volt, if you subtract the 0.5 from the voltage and after that if you multiply by 100, you will get the temperature data. Okay, the main formula is that the temperature is equal to P out minus 5, this is the offset value, okay, 500 millivolt divided by 10 millivolt degree per centigrade. Okay, this will be called, this is the substitution formula. Okay, <coughs> right? Now, from the previous slide, I have shown the temperature, temperature below, below. Okay. 
ओके सो अपन तो प्रीवियस तो प्रीवियस तो सुन दे टाइम सुन दे टेम्परेचर टेम्परेचर बेलो तो दिस तो दिस टेम्परेचर टेम्परेचर फ्रॉम फ्रॉम द टेम्परेचर टेम्परेचर फॉर्मूला आई मोला आई गेट द टेम्परेचर द टेम्परेचर द टेम्परेचर द टेम्परेचर द so you can change the condition also here i mentioned that if temperature is greater than 22 degree you can change the temperature condition okay if you know room temperature is 32 degree is fine then uh, when you can turn on the ac or you know you should turn on the ac that depends on the application okay <coughs> if you in a you know uh, there is a place where you have placed some uh, machines so for machines you know, the sustain temperature is 22 degree then you have to put condition like this uh, But the you have put the temperature or AC in a normal room, you can change the condition here. Yeah. Temperature greater than thirty or forty-five or thirty-five, then the uh, AC should be turned on. So then digital light, the give a warning signal through the LED. So digital light within bracket LED comma high, then delay one thousand. The digital light within bracket motor will be turned on. After the giving the warning signal, motor will be turned on. Okay. So motor, how can turn on digital light within bracket motor pin comma high? Okay, again we are giving some delay signal. If temperature is less than, there is no required to turn on the LED as well as the motor pin. So the we will send the uh, logic low signal through the LED and logic low signal through the motor pin. I hope it is clear. Just a few formulas are required. If you want to uh, write the code for the temperature sensor, you will get those uh, formulas from the internet easily. Okay. So I have changed the circuit diagram. You based on your application, you can modify the circuit diagram and you can put the code accordingly in the Arduino code. Okay. <coughs> Next, the smart load design that I will discuss in the coming lecture. Now I will show the tinker kit output for the room temperature controller. Okay. Uh, so this is the tinker kit uh, diagram uh, which I opened in the tinker kit. So already the temperature sensor will get from here. Okay. Uh, uh, so this is the temperature sensor. If you drag and drop here, you can get. And the DC motor is also available here. This is the DC motor. And LED, all of you know where it is available. So. Here I have mentioned only NPN transistor and the diode and the resistor all are available. NPN transistor, diode and resistors all are available here under the basic component. Okay. <coughs> Now my temperature there are the three terminals. Three terminals. So this is the power. So power supply should be connected with this. This is the ground and uh, there two terminal will be connected with the ground. The middle one is the output that is connected with the anode. So I have mentioned in the code anode terminal. Okay. Uh, so you can see the code and code the sensor pin that is stored in a sensor pin anode terminal. Now come to the LED. So LED there is two there are two terminals anode is connected to the pin number seven that I have already mentioned in the code LED pin uh, equal to seven and the cathode terminal is connected to the ground. Now come to the DC motor. So DC motor the uh, so there is a logic for turning on the DC motor. Okay, so DC motor it is also the two terminals red and black. Black will be connected to the ground. And the red will be connected to the output terminal. Okay, through the transistor. Okay, so transistor, all of you know, there are the uh, three pins of the transistor. Uh, the collected pin. Uh, this is a common emitter uh, transistor. Okay, <coughs> common emitter means the emitter terminal should be connected to the uh, ground. Okay, and the base will be the input, and the uh, collector will be the output terminal. Okay, so that's how you can see. The collector is connected with the uh, output terminal. So normally, motor output means uh, I have to give the some signal from the Arduino to the transistor. Transistor will give the same uh, the modified signal to the motor. Okay. So the motor is connected with the collector terminal, and we have also connected the one diode with the collect uh, collector terminal and the ground connection. Okay. So the middle is the base terminal. Base terminal is connected with the Arduino through the resistor. So here you can see the resistor is connected, and the from the resistor, other terminal the resistor is connected with the Arduino pin number eight. So pin number eight also we have mentioned motor pin. Okay. So actually the DC motor is uh, output motor, but I am sending the signal from the Arduino to DC motor through the transistor. 
first the signal is sent from adeno to transistor and transistor will send the output version the more uh, amplifier version of the transistor uh, to motor okay this is the connection i hope the connection is clear so this is common emitter emitter is connected with the ground the <coughs> base is connected with the arduino through the resistor and the collector is connected with the output motor and there is a connection of the I diode between the collector terminal and the ground okay <coughs> so the code i have already explained the same code it is mentioned here first you have to declare some data type then pin mode configuration and the void setup function then some formula and the setup in the code main set of code or uh, loop in the void loop function okay for converting the analog reading to the voltage and the temperature this are uh, the setup instruction and i am putting the transform condition based on the temperature in the room inside the room first it will be turn on to start it if it is the temperature is more than some limit then turn on through the digital uh, logic high and logic high then the led and the motor pin okay <coughs> so i am turning or uh, click on the start simulation uh, so i am uh, just uh, the temperature is more i think so if you decrease the temperature <coughs> after some time you can see the led is turn off the motor is also turn if you increase the temperature after some time you can see the one is signal is sent by the arduino the motor is also turned off okay you can also change the the temperature value suppose it is <coughs> 42 now you can see This turn off now I'm increasing the temperature. This is increasing the temperature better than 42, and this also turn off. So you can uh, also change the temperature condition, also as well as you can change the, the delay time. Okay, the delay time is mentioned, so this also you can change. If you want to do the process fast, you can decrease the delay time in F from everywhere. Okay, so this is about the automatic room temperature controller. In the coming lecture, I will show the smart road. How can you design the smart road? And followed by different two three applications related to smart road, I will discuss in the coming lecture. Please like, like, share, and subscribe my channel. Thank you.